Hi everyone, welcome to the Anti Listers channel. Today I've got 12 candles that Goose Creek is currently selling. They have a phenomenal sell. I think the candles are coming out to 1083. The Goose Creek sell is 6 for 65. And they have a phenomenal selection. The Grand Dame of Gourmand had no willpower. I know I told one of my family members that I was going to be good through March and not go through a no buy, and here we were on the third day, and I done hit the button. I couldn't get a hold of my husband. I said, well, I'll just have to ask for forgiveness rather than permission on this one. As you can see here, they've got milk chocolate bunny that instantly went in my cart, bunny cookie, bird's nest. I skipped on blueberry bunny cream for now, and I definitely got the pink bunny cream, but stay tuned. Next week, I'm, I will be hauling as soon as I get that box in, or the next day, whichever one comes first. Depends on what time it comes in. But today, I have 12 candles here that we're going to go over, and I'll let you know what my opinions are. Some I highly recommend, so let's get started with this. Okay, no particular order. I'm just going to kind of grab and go because I just want to get the video up and get through this kind of quickly. I'm not going to go over notes on everything. The first one is Apple Bourbon. This is a great candle. It smells like Michael's. I haven't burned it that many times, even though I felt like I have. I know I've burned at least three, but maybe I haven't always been. This is a strong candle, by the way. You get a nice, deep apple scent to this. I, I really don't detect that much bourbon. Sometimes the liquor candles I did, I'm not always a fan of. This candle is wonderfully done, and I do recommend this candle. Next one up is grape soda. Oh, my goodness. This is a powerhouse. Burning it in, oh, I'd say probably, probably about 170 square foot room. It got a little bit much for this, so I like to burn this more in my living room, so it can tra it travels well, and I highly recommend it. It smells just like grape knee high, and I absolutely love it. I know this is a fan of a lot of people, so I'm not alone when I recommend this candle. The next one up is Cotton Candy. This is a nice cotton candy scent. It, it hits on every single note. So if you are a fan of cotton candy, I think you'll really like the candle. Actually, I had this candle uh, burning at the same time as Key Lime Cake Pop. And they met in the middle. And it was like a fabulous scent. So these pair well together, by the way. <laughs> Key Lime Cake Pop is a very strong candle. This is the one I highly recommend as well. This has a strong throw. I burned it in my dining room and I could even smell it at the door of my bedroom. It projected all into the room that's out here, so I highly recommend this candle. I've seen other people recommend it as well. I think you would be happy with this if you are a Key Lime smell lover. Next one up is Peanut Butter Crisp. You know, I remember burning this last year, and I'm like, oh, well, it's okay. But I think I had a lot of other candles at the time that I really was liking. So I don't think I get, had such a high opinion of this. I did burn this one yesterday, and let me tell you something. I, my, my opinion changed. Imagine that. So, anywho, I really like this candle. I was enjoying it quite well. And then I looked at it, and I'm like, geez, I burned through almost the whole thing. It's, I, it was a little dirty on it, but I know that, that I did not take care of this candle. It's one of the older ones that I have. If you like the box of Reese's Peanut Butter cereal, I think you might really like this candle. Not too long ago, I did mention the strawberry sponge cake, although this thing smells so good on cold, for some reason, I j it just doesn't have a lot of scent while it's burning. So I've got an experiment, so be watch out for that video coming up. So I they already kind of tested it out, and I think I know a way of making these candles just a little bit better if they're on the weaker side, so stay tuned for that. But... I'd, other people have said this candle was great, so maybe I just got one which is in the factory and his spout just got stuck. 
cookies and cream pudding. My mind has kind of changed on this one. I had this one burning on a colder day. I remember getting this like in the heat of the summer. So once again, I think that humidity might have put a damper on your candles when you're burning it. But I did smell this one. I burned it in a smaller room and I'm like, oh, I can smell a little bit of this now. So he, he's just awful light. So I, this one, I would pick some other ones over this one. So that's my recommendation on this guy. The last five of these candles I've talked about them ad nauseum. So for my current subscribers, I appreciate you coming in. I'm sure you know what a hair rerun. But for the new people, I wanted to go ahead and go over these candles. I think uh, all of these candles are just wonderful, beautiful candles. I would highly recommend all of them. But the first one coming up is the Netherlands candle from the World Traveler series. Hey, he is available. And I will say this is a gorgeous, beautiful, gourmand, deep waffle scent. And I absolutely love it. I've never had a stopful, but I think I would want to have one based on the candle alone. So I do recommend this one as well. A couple videos ago, I had talked and ranked it blueberry cheesecake. I absolutely love this candle. And... I love this candle so much, I didn't get the other blueberry candle that was out. Uh, I had another blueberry candle, Very Bear, I just reviewed on my last uh, Goose Creek haul. I reviewed Limoncello Cupcake, the Very Berry, and... Coffee House. There, it takes a while. But, hey... Praise Jesus, my mind's still here. So, Blueberry Cheesecake. I like this candle over the Very Berry I reviewed. I did mention that in that video, but this is just a delightful candle. You don't even need nothing to do anything, but just take the lid off. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful blueberry candle. Maple Butter. I had already pre-filmed. Long story. I don't want to bore you. I was going to do just three candles at a time, but we got to speed along because Annie Listers is slow and I've got 15 other things I've got to do now, film now. So, and I'm behind on other stuff I said I was going to do a long time ago. But, anywho, Maple Butter. This candle is so good that I remember burning it in my bedroom and I was outside around my garden and I had my window open and I could smell this all the way outside. I'm like, what? very great candle it smells just like a stack of pancakes so if you have a problem with food and candle smells you might want to avoid this one. <laughs> oh, in the gourmand pancakey syrup candles this is absolutely comes in the top five of candles that I currently own I have just a few again here's the strawberry jam I recommend this candle if you like homemade strawberry jelly. It's phenomenal. They got that scent in the jar. This smells just like homemade jelly. I haven't burned it a whole lot. That's how much I like it. If the candle is great, Mama don't want to burn it. She wants to keep her forever. I would recommend this candle all day long, every day. I don't, I haven't heard a bad review on it. So there is strawberry jam. <laughs> My last candle up is espresso cake pop. And let me tell you something. This candle has me confused. I think I might be burning too many candles in one day when I said this thing goes in and out. I think this is more of a me problem. I burned it this morning in this room. This room is probably t at least 200 square feet. It projected into my dining room and I could even halfway smell it to my bedroom. So this is a great candle. There's been times that I've burned it and this is my second version by the way. There's been times that I've burned it and it's not as strong but I'll just put it away and then come back to it later. <coughs> and burn it again and like I said today it filled the entire room. This is a great candle. 
It's one of my favorite all times of Goose Creeks, and I strongly recommend it. That's going to wrap up today. I did that quickly. I have never, I don't think I've ever shot a video this quick. I will see you real soon. I will do the rest of my Goose Creek candles. They're still on the table. I'm going to go ahead and just film them all and do a real quick review on everything. And then we've got to get rolling. I've got some new stuff, new content. We're going to kind of bounce away from candles and makeup and body care and we're going to do something real fun next week. I just wanted to give you my two cents on the candles that I've already purchased. So I hope that helps you make a better decision when if you're purchasing candles over the weekend. That's a great sell by the way. 1083. I couldn't help myself either. So until the next time. Oh, what's told you today that they love you? Hey, listeners love you so, so much. And our father loves you so much more. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye for now. Thanks so much for watching. Come back real soon. You don't ever.